everyone and welcome to my channel. So today starts Bath and Body Works Total Body Care Sale weekend. It starts today on Friday and it will end on Sunday. And this sale includes hair, skin care. It includes like the more expensive items like the body butters, the scrubs, and it is online and in store. So I definitely did pick up some items and I wanna share with you guys what my daughter picked out as well. And everything was $5.95 today and well this weekend for Labor Day. Now let's get into what I picked up. But if you're new to my channel, I love for you to subscribe and yeah, let's show you guys. So I did pick up a shampoo and conditioner in the Champagne Apple and Honey because I just used up all of my conditioner from Bath and Body Works. Well, all my conditioner that I have. So I needed more and I wanted to get the shampoo to go with it. This is Chris Apple, Sparkling Champagne, Jasmine Honey, and Autumn Woods. I do like Champagne, Apple, and Honey. This smells really beautiful. It smells, it's apple. It smells like clean, sweet. So this will be nice for the fall. I feel like even like transitioning from the warmer weather to the cool weather in September. This will be nice. And these originally retail for $16.95. And then I got these two sprays. These are part of the fall two releases. So there's a lot of missing scents that we didn't get that we were supposed to get. Like Honey um, Wildflower never came out in body care. We did, they do have it in like hand soap and candle forms, but it didn't come out in body care. And we were also supposed to get white tea and sage, which never came out. And then there's this whole thing with pumpkin pecan waffles where most of the products got like recalled, like um, the store employees have been like dumping out all the hand soaps or the, like taking the wallflowers off the shelves. A lot of the candles were taken off the shelves. And my store did have the candles. I did smell it and it smelled okay to me. But um, I don't think it's like all the candles that were affected, but the employees said they smell really bad, like like jalapenos and nachos, the pumpkin. So I don't know if there was an issue with the formula or whatever, but they took them all off the shelves. So yeah, and also I feel like we didn't get as much fall either, probably because they re-released the luxury line as well. But a lot of people have been talking about it, kind of disappointed in the fall selections so far. And I do remember last fall, it, it, I loved it. I thought they came out with so many great collections last year. So yeah, I don't know what's going on, but I did pick up a full size in the Autumn Drive. I did pick up a mini a few weeks ago, but I did I really enjoyed it, so I wanted a full size. This is Wild Raspberry, Warm Amber, Vanilla Birch. It says, let's hit the open road and embark on a new autumn adventure. And this is really pretty. It's a pretty like berry raspberry. Definitely like a sweet fruity smell, but it does have like that warm amber vanilla birch to kind of like warm it up a little bit, but I, I wouldn't say this is like a really woody or like smoky smell. It, to me, it's mostly like a sweet raspberry. And then I picked up Sunrise Woods because I didn't own this one. This is a returning scent as well with creamy sandalwood, sweet berries, cozy cashmere. It says, roam through a sun-kissed meadow where the trees sway in a gentle breeze. It's cute. And I didn't pick this up last year because my daughter had it and it, I don't know, I felt like I didn't need it because we already had it in the house, but she keeps all her stuff in her room. So it's not like I can use it whenever I want. I can, but I just wanted it for my own collection. And this is really pretty. This is also kind of, I could get the berries in here, but it's like more creamy. I'm um, probably the cozy cashmere and the creamy sandalwood. Very more like fall. It's not as berry as like autumn drive. Like that note is what you get the most of. This one, it's like the berries are more like blended in, I, I would say. But it's really pretty, very like warm, cozy type smell. And then, so I didn't pick up like the full set for those two. What I did was I picked 
like a wash and autumn drive and a lotion and sunrise woods because I figure I can mix and match these because they're kind of in the same family because they both have that berry note but I did get a uh, body wash and autumn drive which oh this is sweet the berries very sweet this is nice I'll enjoy using this and then the lotion sunrise woods this like smells really creamy to me. Not in a lactotic way, but like a cozy, like comforting way. Rula here on YouTube said Sunrise Woods is like the daytime version of Twilight Woods. So I do want to spray them side by side. She didn't say they're the same. Yeah, this one's uh more musky. It has like a musky note to it. A little more powdery and I definitely can see the similarities yes very much <laughs> and then I picked up one scrub so I used up all my Bath and Body Works scrubs so I don't have any more and I do have a couple scrubs like I have one from two from Tree Hut and one from Dove so this will be my fourth scrub and I know that's more than what I need but I don't think it's like excessive <laughs> and I do go through scrubs rather quickly. So I really wanted to try a different formula from Bath and Body Works and the foaming sugar scrub. I've only tried like the glowing one and I got it in Gingham Fresh, which is Juicy Pear, Sparkling Clementine and Fresh Daisies. I really like it because I get mostly the pear, like a sweet pear. It's a really pretty smell. And I still have my body spray, my fragrance mist. So I'm excited to try out this formula. And this originally retails for $19.95. So yeah, this is like a great sale to buy any of like the higher ticket items. So, and then I picked up a body oil. I've never tried Bath and Body Works oil. So I'm very curious because I kind of avoided it because I'm not really into like oils, facial oils, body oils, but I really am curious because a lot of people talk about these and how great they are. So I'll definitely have to get back to you guys how I feel. I'll probably use it in like, um, like feature in my weekly combo video when I try this. But yeah, I did pick up the Coco Shea Honey. They didn't have the oil in the milk one. Otherwise, I probably would have got the milk. It says apply, absorb, feel moisturized. I just want to put a little on to kind of get the texture. My hands are pretty dry. Okay, it seemed to absorb pretty quick. It doesn't feel super greasy, which is good. So yeah, I'll have to try this all over my body and get back to you. But this retails for $20.95. So big ticket item and I get it for $5.95. And then the last item I picked up for myself is the daily face wash. So I am almost out of my face wash and so I need one and I don't know, I'm curious about these and I haven't heard much talk about their skincare line. Um, I did see a video from Dr. Dre here on YouTube. She did do a Bath and Body Work video and she did say it had, didn't have great ingredients in here, but I don't know. I just wanted to try it. They also had like an exfoliating face wash. Um, that one had kind of like those little beads in it. It didn't seem too abrasive, but I just wanted like the original one. Oh, and it's sealed, which is nice. I wish their creams came like this. It's a come. Yeah, it would come like this. It looks like a gel cleanser, which I prefer. And it's definitely fragranced. Kind of smells herbally, like um, like natural, a little earthy, like in a clean way. So yeah, I'll definitely have to get back to you guys on this, what I think about this face wash. So that's all the items I picked up for myself. Nine products and I'll go over the receipt. So I also did use my coupon that we got recently in the um, the little mailer for the 25% off, which helped a little bit because I believe my total was like $58 and it ended up going down to $43.67. And then my total savings was $116.39. So I think I did very well. I'm very happy with the things I picked out, but I also did do an online order today. 
I did place an online order for Cozy Vanilla Bourbon because that is an online exclusive. So I did order the uh, body, the fine fragrance mist, the body cream, and the body wash. So when that comes, I'll definitely share with you guys and do a video on that. Probably compare it to like the old last year's version to see if there's any differences. Sweet Whiskey is also online exclusive. I chose not to pick up that one just because I still have like half left from last year. And I did have a body or a body lotion last year, but I ended up using it all up. So I didn't need another one. And I felt like I didn't need the body wash. So yeah, I'm definitely going to take a break for a while with shopping Bath and Body Works. I don't need anything else. <laughs> um, I have enough fall soaps. I have enough of everything pretty much i but when fall three does release i do plan on getting the stuff that i don't at least the fine fragrance mist from fall three i will share with you guys what my daughter picked up she has very different tastes than me but um she did end up getting the coco shea the body lotion she does already own i think she owns the body oil so I, she's never tried the lotion like this, and I really love the lotion like this, but this one is Comforting Creamy Coconut, and I think this one smells so good. I love the original Coco Shea, which this one retails for $17.95. And just to backtrack, I forgot to mention the face wash retails for $13.95. And then she also picked up an oil in the Honey because she likes oil. She already owns the Coco, the original coconut one. So yeah, she got that one. And then she got a couple in aromatherapy line. She did get the Sleep. This is the lavender and vanilla it says pillow and body mist i remember it used to just be advertised pillow mist but they changed it because you could use it for both and this one says lavender oil inspires tranquility vanilla absolute calms the mind to ensure relaxation i did sp she sprayed this on me earlier in the car and i think this smells like baby wipes so I wasn't a huge fan of this. She liked it. She said it smelled really clean. She really enjoyed it. But me personally, I did not like it that much. And then she picked out their body wash and sleep. Well, it's body wash plus foam bath. And I remember she's always liked the aromatherapy line. And yeah, I think it smells like baby wipes. I'm not a huge fan of this one, but she likes it and she's the one using it. So I keep forgetting the prices, but this is the Pillow Mist Body Mist is $14.95 originally and the Body Wash is $14.95. And the last item she picked up, she got a candle. The candles are $14.95. Not the best deal, but not terrible either because this originally retails for $25.95. And she picked out the Eucalyptus and Spearmint Stress Relief. She loves the whole aromatherapy line. Me personally, I don't really get, like, buy anything from aromatherapy. Not that I don't like it. It's just, I, I don't know. I just pass it. I just pass it up. I don't really pay too much attention to that line. But this one smells really good. The Eucalyptus and Spearmint. This is amazing. And I'm sure this will be really nice burning and like when she burns it in her bedroom and she's doing like schoolwork because she is going back to college next week for her second year. So this will be nice stress relief. At, you know, college is very stressful. So she ended up picking up five items. I have her receipt right here. And she ended up saving $56 and she never, she didn't get any coupons. She didn't have any coupons in the app either to use, which kind of stinked. Um, and she ended up spending $42 and 14 cents. Well, more because of that candle, like our order ended up being around the same price and I got nine items. She got five, but the candle made a difference. And I had that 25% off.
But today my goal is to organize this room, my filming room, my Bath and Body Works storage room. I like to organize this room because it's gotten crazy out of hand. And my next video, I definitely want to switch out my August scents into September scents. I believe, when's the first? Today is the 30th, uh, September 1st. I can't remember, honestly. I think it, it's tomorrow's the first already. I'm sorry guys, uh, but yeah, I'll have to do that video. I can't believe September 1st is like right around the corner. But anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. Let me know if you guys are shopping the sale or not. Um, Cause I, I do know these can get very overwhelming and our collections grow quite a bit. Cause there's so, there's so many sales they have and so many new releases. And I totally get it why people, you're like, I'm skipping. Like when I cashed out the worker, she was like, I can't buy anything today. <laughs> she was like, after working here, I, she said she has so much stuff. Um, she said she might pick out one thing from today's sale, but she was also thinking about like holiday buying things for the holidays coming up because it is a great gift idea, but I don't know who I would buy gifts for because people aren't into it as I am like my boyfriend I bought him a bunch of stuff last year and he still hasn't even gone through it and my daughter gets all her stuff you know so I don't know but anyways that is it I'm blabbling but I will see you guys in the next one all right bye